Randy Brew here from the Corcoran Group with my good buddy, Noah Bean. Star of stage, screen, the upcoming Lois and Clark with his wife, Lindsay Fonseca. <laughs> yeah? Could you excited be. about that? Uh, yeah, that's new to me, but that sounds great. I think we need to make that happen, Netflix. Yeah. We gotta get Lois and Clark mm -hmm. with Noah Bean and Lindsay Fonseca going on. Yeah, exactly. They're doing a reboot and we're going to make that happen. All right. So today is our premiere episode of Coffee and Kitchens. Uh, great opportunity for my friends, family, uh, past clients, contacts to get to know your neighbors, get to know the people in your neighborhood in a kitchen drinking coffee. Everybody loves coffee except if you are a tea drinker, but everyone does love kitchens. Yes. So let's uh, enjoy our coffee. Cheers. Congratulations to your first episode of uh, Coffee and Kitchens. I'm, Thank I'm you. I'm honored to be uh, inaugurating this uh, amazing event. I am honored to have you at this amazing welcome event. welcome to my kitchen. Yeah, thank you. So let's just start this off and let's let are th those among us, those few among us who don't know who you are, yeah. um, let's, let's tell them a little bit about you. So, Noah, Noah Bean, um, where are you from? Uh, I was born in Boston, mm -hmm. Massachusetts. I grew up in Connecticut, southeastern Connecticut, in a little town called Mystic. Ah, uh, Mystic. Mystic Pizza, Mystic Seaport, any of those uh, people probably in the area, I've spent many uh, field trips in Mystic. Yeah. Uh, and then I went back to Boston for college, went to Boston University, and then... Uh, and what did you study at Boston University? I went, I got a BFA in theater. I studied acting. They have a conservatory program there. Mm -hmm. And, um, which is a wonderful, it was a great program. And uh, they also shipped me off to, we went over to London, we studied at Lambda, we wow. did a semester there. And then after four years, uh, basically I was ready to go out into the world and... Uh, and so you came here to New York City. I came to New York City. So why New York versus all of the other places you could go after college to, to, uh, to, to work? Why New York? Uh, well, I, yeah, I thought about Poughkeepsie, but just didn't seem like enough work would be there. Poughkeepsie's a good place. Yeah, yeah. I know Sarasota. It was like the weather would be nice. Okay. But, uh, I don't know what the theater scene is. Right. Uh, I actually, the reason I showed up here, well, I'm from the East Coast, so East mm -hmm. Coast made sense. And, uh, oh, by the way, Facebook people, I have a plumber in that bathroom that's right back there fixing my shower because this is what home ownership is about is uh, having to fix stuff that breaks. So. Yeah, that's a great, that's, that's great that you mentioned that. So when you came to New York and you were looking for a place to live, yeah. um, why did you, just, did you immediately decide to buy? Did you rent first? What no, was I, rented, the... I rented for a bit. Uh, I was down in like the Lower East Side, um, stayed with, crashed on some you know, couches and extra bedrooms. And then it was, uh, this was in 2001, I moved here in 2000. Right. And then in 2001, it was thanks to my mother who basically was, you know, kind of said, maybe we should think about buying something instead of, you know, paying rent. Renting. Yeah. And at the time, you know, prices still seemed, <clears throat> they seemed astronomical. But yeah relative to what they, after 2005 or whenever, you know, things really started yeah. booming. Yeah. It was nothing. So you I mean, bought in 2000. Yeah. And we've seen a lot of ups and downs in the real estate market since 2000 in New York City. Yeah. And we don't need to say what you paid for the place or even its value now, but doing a little bit of my own research before we came here today, I mean, your place has tripled in value with all of the ups and downs of the market. One yes. interesting facet of home ownership is uh, appreciation here in New York City. So what was it about this apartment that, uh, that sold it for you? <clears throat> I think, well, this is, I, this is about 600 square foot um, studio loft. It's a cool building. It used to be a metalworks factory, so it's got you know, 12 foot ceilings. You can't see it 
out in Facebook. They'll see it. I'll take some uh, photos of the uh, apartment afterwards, yeah. just so you could see some. And this will be on my YouTube channel, um, a slightly edited version. Um, so you guys can check it out on YouTube uh, in the next few days. Yeah. But, anyway. So, but it was. Uh, I think you know we. Man, I, you know I remember it was used to. You get the Sunday Times. <clears throat> and in the real estate section, it was all that was, you know, there was no Zillow. Right, before no Zillow, Zillow, before Street Easy, any yeah. Of that stuff. So you'd go and circle the place, and it would have the price and when the open house was, and you'd circle the thing. And, and I don't think we even had a, um, I didn't start with a broker. We got one when it basically just came here to an open house and then worked with the, the selling agent. Got it. I guess to get the place. Wow. Um, and it was, yeah, just going through the Sunday Times and circling places that sort of seemed in the right. Um, I wasn't thinking neighborhood actually at the time. Where, what neighborhood were you, were you living in before here? Uh, I was in the Lower East Side. Got it. Okay. And so mm -hmm. I wasn't really thinking of neighborhoods at the time. I was kind of, price was sort of the only thing. And, um, but I remember seeing places in. West Village. I mean, everybody in New York City, we love to talk about real estate and everybody's got these amazing stories of what they could have got at the yeah, time yeah. if they had only done this. And right. All. And so spending the, I don't know, it was probably a few months, you know, looking at places. I do remember, you know, some amazing things yeah. in this village that were nothing and would have been. Right. Know, I mean, it's like when you're there. looking for an apartment here in New York, it's very hard to time the market. Um, to think like, oh, I should be getting this now or I, we should be selling now. It's like you do it when you can yeah. afford to do it and you do it when you have to do it. But if you're holding it for a long time, then, you know, yeah. you'll probably do well. Yeah. Cool. So how long have you been in this apartment then? Since 2000? Since like 2001, yeah. Wow. And when did you, and you've done some work on the apartment. Yeah. So when did you decide to, this kitchen is how old? This kitchen's probably about, um, <clears throat> I would say, eight years old. So, so about halfway, about yeah. halfway after eight years of owning it, seven years of owning it, you decided to redo the kitchen. Yeah. And why? Why did you decide to do that? Uh, well, this there was like a big. This was a wall. It was a little galley kitchen. It uh -huh. was like you know a drop ceiling galley. Right. And so, and then you know that whole open concept sort of came into the world. And yeah. And with this place, it's, you know, it, it just felt better to make it more expansive and to kind of open it up. And yeah, we've all, I mean, I think everybody's moved away from like galley kitchens and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, just, and it needed an upgrade. And obviously this building was converted. I think, um, everything was from probably the early eighties. Oh, wow. When they made the conversion. Now this building is what's known in New York as a cond op. Right. Can you tell us a little bit about what that is? What's a cond op? Uh, so we know there's co-ops, condos, townhouses, and cond ops right. here in New York. So, so what's a cond op? As I understand it, and you can correct me, okay. um, a cond op is essentially a co-op with condo rules. Right. That's, so, I would agree, yeah, that's what I know it as. Yeah, so, a co-op co that's run like a condo. Right. So what does that mean that it has condo rules? It means that uh, we do have, I have the ability to rent this. As nice. an owner, I can rent. There's certain buildings in New York City that they have, you know, the there's a board of this, yeah. but they're pretty lenient. Okay. Uh, there's not a lot of, there are rules. Yeah. Uh, you know, no, sh they don't want you doing short term, rentals so they frown on you know airbnb in your place or got something it like that you should get a year lease if you're going to mm -hmm. rent it it needs to be for a year can you do two years you could do yeah anything you know that's the, kind of the minimum they just don't yeah. want people coming in and out in and out okay but you can rent it as much as you want yeah and, um so they're pretty they're just pretty lenient it's got it. not like some buildings are just you know you can't do anything yeah. basically you yeah. just have to live in it and that's right it. right right um, so, and then you're essentially owning shares in the building because you've Right, so the building is like a corporation, you own shares. It's exactly. not like real property, like a condo, you own, you know, the floors and the four walls surrounding. This is shares in the corporation. Exactly. And the shares are based on how 
many square feet the apartment is and how many, you know, right. percentage of common elements and things like that. Yeah, you yeah. still own your apartment. Right. And I can sell it anytime I want and right. like that. But, um, and then also the requirements for, you do have to get board approval. And did you have to do a board interview? I didn't have to do one in person. It was really? Just, uh, yeah. It was wow. just sending stuff in, but I didn't have to go and, uh, Wild. and be in front of anybody. Oh, wow. Um, at the time, it was my mother, you know, I was pretty young. Yeah, how old were you? I was 20. Yeah, I don't know if you want to say your age. He's an actor, That's everybody. Sorry. There's an illusion yeah, here. Yeah. I was somewhere between the ages of 22 and whatever. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, my mother helped me get a lease because I was starting to make money. Yeah. I was doing commercials when I first got to the city, and so that's... I got some cash from, uh, I like to think, this is the kitchen that Coca-Cola built. Wow, yes. Um, so that was helpful. Nice. Um, we should be drinking Cokes. I know, we should be. We need oh, some man. sponsorship. Okay. You need yeah. sponsorship for these. All right. Um, don't be a jerk. But, uh, yeah, so my mother helped me get the, get a mortgage because oh, cool. I didn't have a, as much, even though I had an income, <clears throat> obviously it was difficult. I needed someone to co-sign right. to get it. So, um but we didn't have to go in front of, we just had to submit um, different things to the board, but didn't have to go in front of That's the nice. Board. That's cool. Great. So when you decided to renovate this kitchen, yeah. did you have like an interior designer help you? Did you imagine it yourself? Like how did that process go? Uh, I had a lot of I ideas. I yeah. enjoy design. I also enjoy... Now, uh, I'm going to cut you off here for a yeah. second because guys, he built this kitchen himself. Wow. I mean, from hand, by hand. You carved this I stone. Carved, I went to yeah. I went to the quarry and found yeah. and blasted this. No, I had a lot of help. But okay. I do enjoy. I've done a lot of work in the apartment myself and stuff like that. And yeah, My yeah. super may not want to know that, but um, uh, he's probably not watching. Yeah, but um, no. I actually I went to. I had an idea of what I wanted to do. I mean, you yeah, know, it was fairly straightforward, but kind of the the type of design and everything like that. and But I went to a, a kitchen, New York Kitchen and Bath, which is, it was on 19th Street uh, between Park and Broadway. I think they've moved. Okay. But it was like a, you know, you go in and, and they build, they, it's... Uh, they help you pick out all the materials and yeah, everything? Yeah, Millbrook, they help they make the, and install the cabinetry. Oh, wow. And, uh, New so, York Kitchen and Bath, guys. You guys want to do some work on your apartment? That's that's a good recommendation. Yeah, you have it from Noah Bean. Yeah, they were great. Superman. Um, they were they were great, and uh, but yeah, it was a process, obviously, and um, uh, but I was really happy with what they what they did. And, were there any like must haves that you wanted when you were envisioning your kitchen, like certain things that you were like, whoa, this is like. What, things that you needed? Um, I, well, storage. I mean, that's the thing in right. New York. It's it's just about finding creative storage solutions. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I liked the idea of not, you know, I don't like to have a lot of stuff out. Mm -hmm. like, obviously, you know, to have things, be able to put things away. And that also means that you're constantly, like a lot of New Yorkers, we're constantly like culling our apartments here. Right. Constantly donating stuff and realizing, mm -hmm. hey, I haven't touched this in a year. Yeah. It's probably time for somebody else to have this. Right, right. So with the kitchen too, I wanted to come up and I'm still, you still come up with more solutions of how do I get things off the counter and put things away and yeah. Um, but they were very helpful. That's a good thing about working with people in any, whatever you do, you work with somebody who does it all the time. Like that's why you get a realtor because you want somebody to... I didn't say that. He plug, said that. A little plug. Appreciate hey, that. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, Thank you. Know, hopefully. A good realtor. Okay, it's, good. But, uh, yeah, you want to get work with somebody who's done the thing all over and over so yeah. that they can help guide you uh, cool. through the process. So, have you made any other changes to the apartment? Uh, yes. I've just... Uh, what have I done? I've, I've re-sanded the floors... Um, there used to be a loft bed. It's a, this is kind of an alcove studio, so there used to be yeah, a loft it's a really bed, cool studio, guys. Um, that I had done some that was here when I came, and then I worked on it, and then recently I've taken that down and opened up the space, so it's just one one floor. And then I had to find some 
clever closet solutions because that you actually lose the little square feet having taking out the law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's like a Rubik's cube. Got it. When you're in New York City, you know, it's yeah. like finding uh, all these little solutions. So yeah, I've done a lot and done some built-ins and uh, all sorts of different uh, the solar shades. So, so now you're spending your time basically between New York and Los Angeles. Yeah. And so when you're coming back to New York, what are some great things that you like to do, places you like to go? Give, give us a little bit of a, a window into Noah Bean's life in, well, and um, likes in New York City. Yeah, well, obviously seeing friends is the top of our list when we come back. So mm -hmm. People like you. Thank you. You know. Appreciate um, that. We and, love seeing you as well. And uh, yeah, seeing friends and then seeing theater. I mean, yeah. Usually that's kind of the, I'll start going through and seeing what's on. And Have you seen any shows on this trip? Uh, we haven't. We just got here yesterday, okay. so uh, we've seen friends and nobody else. But um, there is uh, hopefully next week we go see some stuff and figure out what f other actor friends are in and see what's going on. Cool. But uh, yeah, and then restaurants. We went to uh, last night. We went to Cafe Mogador down on St. Mark's. Classic. Yeah. Amazing place in the East Village, Cafe Mogador. Um, it's Moroccan, Moroccan. A beautiful, like you can get great tag, tagine, tagines, yep. and couscous, and uh, yeah, it's between first and A, yeah, and Saint Mark's, right? Um, one our one of our favorite places as well. Yeah, and then uh, yeah, and then you know, walked up. Uh, we stopped in uh, Vinieros on the way back. Just oh to, like, yeah, Vinieros, guys. You guys want a good Italian cookie or a Sicilian slice of cheesecake? Uh, and you're in the East Village, you want to go to Vinieros. Yeah, been there since I think 1894 or something. It's like uh, amazing. Yeah. Yeah, and then, you know, it's this beautiful, this is the sweet spot of time to visit New York City. Yes. If you're going to do it, it's either like, you know, spring or this fall. Fall. Period. Halloween, Thanksgiving, yeah, the holiday yeah. season. Light jacket weather, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Fantastic. And tonight we're going to go to, we're having a little get-together. Can we say the reason for the get-together? Sure, yeah. So what's the reason? What are we doing? Uh, we're having a baby shower. Because, wow. Uh, we've got a baby on the way. A little baby bean is coming here, guys. Yeah, baby bean is coming. Well, that's exciting. Uh, yeah, so we're going to see friends and, um, yeah. Great, great. So now... We're getting to the tail end of our interview, but this is going to be, we'll see how often these questions come up, but I wanted to take a page out of James Lipton's book, uh -oh. and I've uh, compiled a list of questions uh, from uh, Bernard Pivot, oui. from Bouillon du Culture, Culture Soup, mm. and um, have a couple questions for Noah Bean, so this, this should be kind of fun. What is your favorite word mm. um. don't think about it favorite word bubble bubble love it what's your least favorite word cranky ah oh, good what turns you on creatively spiritually emotionally um music nice what any musicians that uh Come to mind? What any specific genre? Uh, well, I was listening to uh, some Iron and Wine this morning. All right. So that, that's always. What movie. turns you off? Um. And we're not keeping it political. We're staying away from politics. Yeah. Right. Right. Um, yeah. You know. Uh, any kind of uh, aggression. I don't like. Um, People, that is one part of coming back to New York City of seeing there's a lot of uh, aggressive behavior on the streets. There That's was a true. fight over a stoop last night in front of Cafe Mogador. Really? It was a little off putting at the time. Yeah, yeah. All right. What is your favorite curse word? Mm. I like a good, just solid, God damn it. <laughs> nice. Okay. Is there a sound or noise that you love? I love. Uh, I love the sound of wind. Oh. Is there a sound or noise that you hate? Uh, trucks screeching, which is another 
part of living in the New York City yeah. is that, and this is on, tw I'm on 23rd yeah, Street, yeah. you get a lot of trucks screeching right with their brakes right they... right it's just because you've been spending so much time in california that you even yeah. that you even hear the trucks it's like That's i think true. i don't even hear trucks anymore um so you're an actor been in a lot of tv shows nikita damages um done a lot of plays but what profession other than your own would you like to attempt mm. Uh, I would love to be, uh, I, when I was a kid, I always wanted to be either a, a fine artist, like a painter, or an mm. architect. Mm, mm, mm. But I loved uh, architecture. Well, and there you go. He's, he's, he's building kitchens, sanding yeah, floors. Pretending to there you go. be an architect. Um, what profession would you not like to do? Um, well, I think it's uh, juniors in there doing it for me. Obviously, plumbing, I, I would think I would be terrible at. And that's why I get a wonderful licensed plumber to come in. And, yeah, uh, always get a wonderful licensed plumber yeah. if you can. Um, there are certain things that if you don't know how, you probably shouldn't try at home. Okay, if, last question. If heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? The coffee's on, come on in. All right, yeah. Noah Bean, thank you so much. The coffee is on and we are in Noah Bean's apartment. Cheers. Cheers, and thank you guys uh, for tuning in on Facebook Live at our inaugural um, episode of Coffee in Kitchens with me, Randy Baru from the Corcoran Group, and today with Noah Bean. Um, thank you so much for having us at your house, letting us see your kitchen, and uh, learning a little bit more about the artist behind the characters that behind you play. The behind the yeah. <laughs> or the man behind the artist. I don't know. Cheers. Have a great afternoon, guys, and a great week. Cheers. Mm -hmm.